parallax and responsiveness can be a really tricky thing. Now, did I do this the easy way? No, I did it the hard way. Uh, I wrote the code that goes in here. It's very simple. And I'm going to make some assumptions. One, that you know how to lay out an animation, that you know how to do animation. Two, that you know how to add a script down here. Right here, the script from jQuery, the CDN, which you can go to jQuery.com and get. If you don't know what that is, go watch some of my other videos. It'll show you. I created a stage at 1024 by 1096. And I came over here and I changed my maximum width to 1024. I don't want to get it any bigger than that. I centered the stage. I made it responsive by width. And I changed the overflow to auto because we're going to be scrolling this. I also added some code. And in creation complete, I added a background color and a margin to my, um, at my project. Changed the background color to that dark gray, which is actually it looks black, but it's really gray. And a 30 pixel margin to the HTML. I have a trigger on here that's just to start the symbol I have added on. That's it. Now I'm going to turn some things on so you can see what's going on. I already have them laid out. I have a footer. You need to put something at the very bottom of this. We'll get into to how you determine the height to help figure out where the duration is. So I put on a picture and this is a crazy place in Phoenix. And you'll notice the titles out here because we're going to animate it in when we scroll. Okay. That fills the entire frame. There's nothing after this. This is all outside of the stage height. But I'm going to turn those on. And I just laid out one after the other after the other right in a row before I even animated any of them. It just makes it easier. So I'm going to turn everybody on. And you will see as I turn everybody on, there's a lot of stuff in there. Some text, some images, more images, and some more. That's going to be text. It's hidden at the moment. And a footer. That's it. Nothing more. All right. So I'm going to put this back in view. And now we need to do the coding. And this is really the important part. Remember, you have to have the jQuery script attached to it. Without that, it doesn't work. So go to jQuery.com, go to the download, follow this, find the CDN. So what do we need to do? We need to open the code window. So open up the code window. And the one thing that's cool about the stage is it has properties. And because it has properties, we can manipulate them. So the thing that we're going to want to do with the stage, we'll go to the stage, plus sign, we're going to play with the scroll. So double click the scroll and now you're opened into the scroll. What we're trying to do is figure out where the, if we can, if we know where the uh, scroll bar is, then we know where the, where the um, playhead is in the timeline. Okay. Sounds easy. And actually it really is. We just need to create a bunch of variables and do some simple math. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it project height. Now I camel case that, you can name the same thing you want. I camel case that because it makes it easier for me to see it. Equals. Now I predetermined what I wanted this to equal. I wanted it to be four times the original, um, the original width of the page. And so I got a 496. 4096 pixels. Okay, semicolon, return. I need another variable var, and this one is for the stage and I can get the height because it's a property just like anything else. So I can get the stage height equals and here's the typical edge stuff sym dot dollar sign and we're looking at open parentheses open double quotes close double quotes close parentheses dot height and open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. So what height are we looking for? Well, the stage. So we just type stage, S-T-A-G-E. Note that it's a capital S. And I'm still making variables. 
One of the other variables I can find out because we're using jQuery is where the scroll bar is. So this is a var and it's scroll scroll position pos scroll pos scroll position equals sym dot dollar sign open parentheses open double quotes close double quotes close parentheses dot scroll top because this is vertical notice it's a capital T if you don't have the capital T this is not gonna work open parentheses close parentheses semicolon we still need another variable var we can get the duration it's a property that you can get that's included in edge and part of the jQuery uh, setup so we can get the duration duration equals sym dot get duration capital D U R A D I O N duration hopefully I spell that right you never know with me open parentheses close parentheses semicolon which I put a colon there so let's change it to a semicolon now we're gonna do some math we need to figure out we need to create another var I know it's like all oh, we got all these variables we haven't done anything yet but yes we do var percent we're trying to find the percentage of where the scroll bar is the percentage of where things are so we're gonna take the scroll pos position and we're gonna divide that by open parentheses so we're using the variable scroll pos open parentheses um, project height project height minus the stage height okay close parentheses right semicolon and now we're finally getting to the real thing we need a very another one more variable which is time and the time is the duration times the percentage or the percent sorry percent yeah percent Now you can see if you are you know if you're a crappy typist like me you can always copy and paste these things to make sure they're right. That's the last we did all those variables and all that just to get this thing time. Now we have one thing this is going to do. We're going to be updating the stage. So it's sym dot stop open parentheses put the variable time in there time semicolon which I put a colon put a semicolon and I didn't do that right because it was an A so let's send my it's not a capital either just this S okay that's it I swear to God that's it here it is stage got to put that in so now if you go to test it in the browser command return so up oh, there we go you can see the animations happening fading in pulling back fading in the text in the now I can expand this and it will work now notice I'm out here and it doesn't scroll you have to be inside the stage to make it scroll now that may be part of your design now notice I put a footer down here which I said I would get to one of the easiest ways to help yourself figure out what the duration is is to put a is to put a footer down at the very very bottom and all I did was create a rectangle and that rectangle which I have locked I'll unlock it I click I create a rectangle put some text in it and I put the Y at 4000 that way I knew how long this thing was gonna last so as you can see with very little coding you can make a parallax that animates in out does all the things and is size is uh, scale responsive you know if you wanted to do this horizontally just change the variables from height to width and guess what it'll work um, instead of scroll top it would be scroll left and that's it adios muchachos